Good morning family, it's such a privilege this morning just to spend some time with you again in the word of the Lord and this morning I want to start by telling you a story, it's a story that happened in my own life. Now a few years ago I was in the construction business and I was a foreman on a big construction site. We were building very big flats and I was one of the site foremans there. Now every three to four months the big bosses with the big cars and the smart cars and the helicopters they would come to site and they would do something which we called a walk about they will go through each and every unit checking the progress that was happening on the site just to be aware of what was going on uh, on site and the progress on site so they came to my block and I was the foreman for that specific block and they were starting to walk through every unit, every flat, checking everything out and the progress on that. And uh, we came into this one unit, I will never forget it, it was unit 20 and um, yeah, it was full of dust, somebody was grinding inside of the place. Now I don't know if you have ever had the privilege to grind inside a house. It's just dust everywhere. And this was a unit that was ready for cupboards, ready for carpets. The tiling was already done. The second coat of paint was already on. And I could not understand what was going on. Why is somebody grinding in this place and uh, making this dust all over the show in a unit that was finished with tiling, finished for the second coat, ready for cupboards, ready for carpets and uh, we went inside this unit and I saw here is my plumber that was working for me um, at that stage um, that time he was working for me and um, I could not understand what is this guy doing and with this big bosses on the background I said to him who do you think you are you must remember I was young and this was my time to shine in front of this big bosses so I said to him, I will not pay you. You won't get money this month. How can you do this to me? Who do you think you are? And I was going on and going on and I was humiliating this guy in front of the big bosses. And the next moment, this plumber of mine, which was twice my age at that stage, he was a big man with uh, big children already. He stood up calm and easy and he said to me, well, if you can do better than me if you know what's going on here why don't you do the job why don't you show me how to do this job otherwise show me what I must do show me a different way of doing this what I was doing you see I didn't know what was going on there I didn't know the deviation uh, he had to go through with what he was busy doing you see a plumber that worked before him when the wet works was still going on he put the pipes on the wrong place so it was coming out of the wall on the wrong place it was coming out in a in the wrong cupboard where the cupboard should, should go it was coming out in, into the wrong cupboard there was a drawer there so he had to chase in the wall putting the pipe so that it come can come out by the zinc cupboard and I did not know this and I was going on and shouting at him and showing this bosses but I am the boss of this block but I didn't know and he humiliated me I stood there with a red face because I could not do the job I didn't know what was going on and I was not aware of the problems this guy was facing and later that day I went to this guy and I said to him listen here I must apologize for this morning I'm very sorry for what I said to you I did not know you were trying to help um, I was not aware of the problem and he said something to me that still stuck in my head today he said to me listen here if you will respect me I will respect you but never ever ever talk to me that way again and right there and then I I was taught one of the golden rules the big golden rules in the Bible which they talk about in Matthew 7 verse 12 do to others what you want them to do to you you see if you want to be loved you must love 
as well. If you want to be helped, you must help others as well. If you want respect given towards you, you must respect others. If you want people to talk nice to you, you must also talk nice to them. That is one of the golden rules in the Bible in Matthew 7 verse 12. Let's pray together. Father, thank you for your word in our life. Holy Spirit, we ask that you will guide us today, that we will stand on your word and that we will do what you want us to do. Help us to think quick and be slow to talk. For that is one of the golden rules that we will treat others the same way that we want to be treated. That is my prayer in the wonderful name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Family, you must have a wonderful day and may you experience His love, His presence and His blessings there where you are today.